take a tiny little dab. It's all happening too bad. I'm so mad at It is not erasing. Whoa. Whoa. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, oh, oh magic. You want to be in the video, Ava? You can be in it. There we go. I am your host, Evan Arrow, with my lovely daughter, Ava. Today, we're showing you how to do three magic pen tricks. Hey, you want to see my magic tricks, Kyle? So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button on the video, and let's go. Okay, this first one is a fun trick that you can do at school or at the office or at home. Check it out. Okay, V, I have a cool trick. Well, it's actually more of a challenge. It's a magic challenge. I've got this. Okay? Oh. It's a normal pencil, but I'm going to put a magic spell on it. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but it's real. It's real. Watch. It's done. Okay. Now, whatever I write with the pencil, you can't erase it, even though it's pencil. It turns into like pen almost. Let me show you. So if I write Laugh at Life right here, seems like regular pencil, right? Yeah. But because I put the magic spell on the pencil, you can't erase it. I'll tell you what, if you can erase it, you win the challenge and I'll shave my beard off. <gasps> try, no, try, you try would never. It. If I can erase this, mm -hmm. you'll shave your beard. Try it. <clears throat> the entire? Mm -hmm. All right. Baby face. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I said erase it. Why are you yeah. scratching it out? <laughs> it's all happening too fast. What'd you do? It kind of works. Not at all. Is that what you meant? No. There you go. I did it. Here, try to erase that. <laughs> oh my god. It is not erasing. It is making it much worse. <laughs> wow. Here's how you do it. Okay, this is actually a pencil trick more than a pen trick, but it's really fun to do. Super fun one to do at school if you're a kid. So all you're gonna do is take the lead out of a pencil and then you're actually going to embed it in the eraser of another pencil. So I already set this one up. As you can see, I have a piece of pencil lead embedded in this eraser. So whenever they go to erase what you've written, it will just automatically write instead of erase. This is pretty easy to set up. All you're gonna do is take a pencil eraser. Got the lead that I removed right here. I'm actually gonna sit this on the table. Now we're gonna take a little piece of magician's wax or you could use like silly putty or clay or play-doh and you're just going to use that to stick pencil lead in so it's going to sit upright on the table for you now what we're going to do is take the eraser of our pencil and drive it straight down onto the pencil lead so that the lead embeds in it and we're ready to do our prank rub the magician's wax off and boom we've now got the pencil lead embedded in the eraser and you're now good to go for your magic prank so they go to erase what you've written and the pencil lead is actually going to draw as they try to erase. So even if the eraser does work a little bit, it's going to leave a line wherever you drag the eraser. So this is a super funny and simple prank that you can pull on your friends. It would be a really fun one to do at the office or at school. That's a great challenge. You just write something and challenge somebody to erase it. And once you rough up the eraser a little bit, it's actually harder to see the lead. See, this one's a little bit more roughed up because we've been using it more. So it's not as like clean and pronounced. It still works awesome. This will last for literally like dozens, maybe even even hundreds of pranks. And that is how you do the magic pencil eraser prank. Okay, this pen trick is sure to surprise any audience. Check it out. Okay, this is a really cool pen trick. It has this little magic tube right here. If you would okay. check that out for us, it has a little top on it. Pull that and look inside. Is there anything inside it? No. Oh, yeah, yes. Hmm. That is a uh, tiny magic wand, actually. <laughs> is it really? It is, that'll come into play here in a second. Uh, nothing else inside the tube though? No, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> if you would put the cap back on it, please. Okay. Wonderful. Also have a pen right here. So I'm going to take the cap off the tube and the pen is actually going to go inside the tube. If you're watching, it goes right in there. Okay. Right down inside. Mm -hmm. The cap, of course, goes on the tube, okay? Yes. Now, if you would please hold the tube at your fingertips just like that. Perfect. Now, I take my little magic wand here. It's a little thing. It is. It's a small trick. <laughs> you ready? Watch. Yes. Watch, all I have to do is tap it. It's okay. done. What's there? Pull the cap off. <laughs> Take it out. Where did it go? <laughs> How does that work? I'm 
two hamsters. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure them out, but there's, I don't know. There's, I don't know where it came from. Magic. <laughs> That's so funny. This is a, is that what it is? There's nothing. I am completely You tell. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this pen trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. This trick is comprised of five parts. Well, six actually. Five that the audience sees and one that they never know exists. We'll get to this in a second. The way you set this up is actually really cool. This is not a real pen or pencil. It's actually a little metal tube that's hollow in the middle. And this front part comes off. We have our little feather flower here. This is really similar to the wand to flower trick that we sell in the shop. Our tiny magic wand. And then finally we have our magic tube and the cap. So here's how we set this up. You're going to remove the tip of the pen. You're then going to take the feather flower and load it into the end of the pen tube. You can now take your little magic wand and use it to push it all the way up inside. Place the tip back in and now at the back of it should be the end of the feather flower which is actually magnetic. Now the reason that's important is because when we load the pen into the tube, it goes all the way down inside this tube, the end of this cap right here is actually magnetic too. So when you put the cap on it sticks to the end of the magnetic flower which is what allows you to pull it out or the spectator to pull it out when they remove the cap. It looks like the pencil is just magically transformed into this little feather flower. Now what's so amazing about this trick is that when they look inside the tube it is completely empty inside. The pencil is totally vanished and it looks like it just magically turned into this little feather flower. It seems like the magic happens in their hands. It's such a wonderful trick and it's so easy to do. Here's how you now remove the pen from the tube. It's actually still in there. You take this little piece that the audience never sees. You do this after the trick if you want to set it up again. It goes down inside and removes the pen. So the pen fits very snugly inside the tube and the tip of it right here is magnetic as well and it sticks to the end of the tube's body right here. So when you put it down inside the tube, it sticks there and it's now locked inside. It looks completely empty to the audience. So here's what's happening inside the tube. The pen goes inside the tube, the cap goes on, and you can hear it magnet into place if you listen very closely. Then as they pull, it just removes that flower just like that. And now the pen is hidden inside the tube. Stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm giving this away to one lucky comment in the comment section below. This could be yours. And that is how you do the magic pen to the flower trick. Here's a cool pen trick that you can do at home where it looks like the person you're doing the trick for does the magic themselves. Take a look. Okay, this is another fun pen trick that you can do at home right now. V, I have a pen here. Okay. I want you to uh, try and write with it, please. It's not really a challenge, just try and write something. <laughs> right, it shouldn't be challenging. Okay. Oh. I don't know if this might be out of ink. Okay. I mean, it's not running. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> being as it's out of ink, uh, we're going to try something with it. Try something with it? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to restore the ink in the pen, okay? Being as it's out of ink, we're going to try to restore the ink, but we're actually going to do it under your command. Normally it would be like, I snap my fingers and the ink yeah. comes back type thing, but we're actually gonna do it under your command. As you said, uh, the pen is out of ink. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to drag the pen across the paper and you're gonna snap your fingers at any time that you want and the ink is going to come back at the very moment what? that you snap your fingers, okay? So as I drag it across the paper, whenever you want, you snap and it will happen. Oh my. Yeah, that was not writing before. Wow. I'm so magical. Okay, this one was actually invented by the Evanera team. Here's how it's done. All you're gonna need to set this up is a normal ink pen and a glue gun. This is a hot glue gun. You may also be able to use different glues. I'm not sure. I've only done it with a hot glue gun and it works very well. So once the hot glue gun is heated up, you're just going to take a tiny little dab of that hot glue and put it on the end of your pen, just like that. And if you get a little string on it like this, you can actually use the hot tip of the glue gun to kind of cut it off. So now that you have the tip of the pen coated with the glue, you want to let this set up and dry. So now that the glue is dried on the end of the pen tip, you are ready to go for your prank. Now keep in mind this is kind of an exaggerated amount so that you guys can see. You want to use as little as possible while still making the pen inoperable. So when they go to write with it, it'll seem like the pen is out of ink because the glue is blocking our pen from writing. Sometimes when you buy brand new pens, they'll have a little plastic cap on it like this that stops it from writing. You could also do that. That's another great way to do this. So they're trying to write with it and it's not working and they're going to assume the pen is out of ink. So once they've struggled to write with the pen and they've realized that they can't, they're going to take it back and all you're going to do is grab it by the tip 
it, casually slip off the little piece of glue. You can then casually drop this on the ground or slip it into your pocket. Now here's the really cool part of the trick. There was nothing wrong with it in the first place except for the fact that there was glue on it. Now the pen is ready to write, but we're not gonna write with it yet. In the spectator's mind, it still won't write. So what we're going to do is use that to our advantage and make it seem like they are doing the magic. You have to do this with a ballpoint pen. And you're basically just going to drag the ballpoint of the pen across the paper, but not press down. And you're only going to press down when they snap their fingers. And you don't want to make it too pronounced. You don't want to do that. But when they snap, you just immediately put pressure and continue drawing a line. This is this really cool effect that when they snap, the pen starts writing. That was the whole concept of this trick. Wouldn't it be cool if a pen was out of ink? You were drawing a line, trying to get it to write, and then it automatically just started writing when the spectator snapped their fingers. Such a cool and easy trick to do. I hope you guys try it out at home and let me know your results. Let me know if you fool your friends and family with it. And that is how you do the magic out of ink pen trick. All right guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share it on your social media. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can text or email it to a friend who you think might like it. All the sharing really does help and the thumbs up on the video really helps as well. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to hit the thumbs up button or share it. We really, really appreciate it. Head over to evaneratv.com. That is our online shop. We have a really cool magic pen that we sell on our site and there are a ton of different tricks that you can do with it. The link for that is in the description of the video and I'll also put a little mobile card right here and it's www.evaneratv.com. Thank you so much for all the support. Everyone who has ordered the new magic mirror card, they started shipping out today. So I hope you're super excited to get those and let me know how your performances turn out. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I am giving away three of the magic pen to the flower tricks. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway item is give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be picking out random comments from the video and I'll mail out three of the pen tricks to three lucky comments so that you can perform the magic at home. You can leave an unlimited number of comments on this video. The more comments you leave in the comment section, the better your chances of winning. All right guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. Giveaway winners are right here. If you are one of the names on the screen, send me a private message on YouTube with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right there and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. You can check out another How To Magic episode right over there. The vlog channel is down there if you want to check out my vlogs. We're posting a lot of cool content from the world tour. The shop is down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.